Hello all, James here from James Hermitone. Thought it might be useful today to look at the Descendant Vibrato's um, arm tightening adjustment and locking system. It's a really, really simple system, but it's not something that's on any other vibrato of this style on the market. So um, something that perhaps people don't know how to adjust properly yet um, or realize is a feature. So I just wanted to spotlight that. Um, and also, so yeah, adjustment, locking it in place and also um, future maintenance too, if required. Um, so starting off in your kit, you'll realize that you get a um, Allen key um, with your new unit. And basically this is for, if you peer just behind where the, the arm goes into the collet, um, there's a very small um, pin size hole there and that's for this. Um, it's a locked in position adjuster. Um, so you can't loosen it too far out, it won't fall out the collet or tighten it too far and it runs right the way through. It, it's um, it's on little stoppers, um, but to set, start things off, I'll loosen it all the way to the left. Um, this basically means that the, the kind of ball bearing locking system inside the collet um, is at its loosest, loosest setting, so you can fit the arm in any position and you can pull it out in any position. Um, if you want to carry on using it like that, of course you, you, you're free to, and that will also be in the, the loosest kind of swing as well. Um, but the, the key feature of this really is you'll notice that the, the arm itself has got a flat side and what that's for is that once you've adjusted the arm to the correct tension you can you put it in in one position um, but it'll always be locked in place. So to choose that um, you grab your Allen key and you'll tighten it. Um, I'm going to go tight, tight, tightest all the way just to show you the example. Um, so that's that's fully taut. The arm's a little bit stiffer, um, but you'll notice it'll only remove in that location. So if I've got it here, it won't lift up. Um, so it's quite useful. It won't fall out. It's not a threaded arm or anything like that uh, to worry about. But it does mean that when you've got your arm in all the plane positions, it won't fall out. It's in it's locked in place. But to remove it, um, say if you found a tension setting you really like, you'd say say it's that you like that swing um, and you don't want to worry about adjusting that again um, but you need to remove the arm then you move it to this location and lift it up um, same again to install so drop it in there spin it round and it won't lift up so yeah um, so that's a really good way to lock it in place and again you can just adjust that tension so if you want it super taut see that's really really stiff um, but you can still remove it so just depends on player preference really, um, just it to you, your preference. Um, I, I like a kind of normal swing enough to just grab it and just hold the arm in place, so I'll leave it there for now. Um, another thing that might be useful um, is just kind of future maintenance at the end of the day. This is metal components rubbing against each other, um, so some maintenance goes a long way. Um, same as when you take your strings off, you might clean your frets up, polish your fretboard, things like that. Uh, we just recommend some um, white lithium grease. This is really, really cheap, um, easy to get hold of. I just bought this from a seller on eBay. Um, so yeah, just some white lithium grease. And what you want to do is just run. You'll notice on the back, just before the curve, there's a, a machining mark um, from where the arm's bent. Um, and basically that little mark sits right, when you've pushed the arm fully into the cutter, it sits right on that edge. So what you want to do is just run a super thin bead. We'll get there in the end. There we go. Little thin bead across there. Put my arm in. Run it around a few times just to mix it in. There we go. That was just a kind of routine maintenance thing, really. Um, help keep all the parts mated nicely. Um, and yeah, as I say, I'll probably do it every string change, every other string change. Um, yeah, it just keeps the unit working its best and that system um, nice and greased um, with the with the correct um, grease, really. And yeah, good to go. Hope that helps with any adjustments you want to make um, to the vibrato arm. Um, any questions, though, on the UK dealer for Descendants, so um, hometown.co.uk or, of course, Chris Swope, who uh, designed the unit at Descendant. Um, I'm sure he'd help as well. But I hope this helps. Cheers, guys. Bye.
Here at James's Hometone, we're passionate about guitars, traditional and unique, and we proudly represent the brands that share our ethos of getting the most out of your own guitars. Our online shop is a curated collection of accessories, electronics and parts, pickups and of course guitars, with an easy to use checkout as well as convenient shipping methods which are available across the UK, Europe and selected countries worldwide. The shop is a culmination of a lifetime's obsession with the guitar and we hope that your visit provides a sense of that through the quality products we offer as well as the unique nature of the brands that we proudly represent. Check out the website at www.homeoftone.co.uk and I hope you enjoy your visit. Thanks for watching this video here on our channel and if you did it'd be great if you could click the like and subscribe buttons too. We really appreciate your support. Thank you very much.